Hello Newton North, I'm Alex Katz. Welcome back to the NN Update. We hope you are doing well as we start the second term and head into the winter season. Last spring, Newton North Jr. Will Goldsmith was featured on actor John Krasinski's show Some Good News for his musical talents. Reporter Aidan Vahey sat down with Will to hear his story. We will see you next time. Good night. Will Goldsmith's rendition of The Office theme song in 10 different genres has gotten over 5.5 million views on TikTok and got featured at the end of John Krasinski's show, Some Good News, this past summer. But Will doesn't just make theme songs in 10 different genres. I sat down with Will to talk about where his interest in music all started. I've been playing music since I was like six or seven years old. I started by playing guitar. I got it for as a birthday present, my first guitar but I don't actually remember if it's six or seven, I always mix it up. ACDC's lead guitar player, Angus Young, was Will's idol and inspiration to play guitar when he was young. Even though, obviously, he's a great guitar player, what I loved was that he had so much energy on stage, and he just did all those awesome things on stage, and just watching him live was so captivating that I made sure that the next time I played live, um, I really had as much energy as I could. When Will went into middle school, he met one of his best friends to this day. Max has seen Will progress in his music career over the years and still remembers how talented Will was all the way back in middle school. He had done a couple performances for like a school assemblies and stuff uh, and he would like play guitar in front of us sometimes. After Will's first album was released in 2017, he's been making singles and producing with other artists ever since. He broke down all of the pieces in one of his singles he made this past summer called Summer Fantasy. It's just started with that acoustic guitar, I had those chords down, so. And then I added a whistle on top of that. After the whistle stops, the first vocals come in. This. Will wants to continue making music for his career and hopefully have an influence on others. My goal is to be an artist. Um, I, I have a bunch of smaller goals within that, but basically I want to be a musical artist that makes music that people like um, and that you know people can identify with. I want to inspire people, I want to help people. Make sure to listen to Will's new song coming out at the end of the month. He may one day release a big hit you hear on the radio. For NNTV, this is Aiden Vahey. Aiden, we might have to see if Will can compose a new theme song for the update. A new math teacher, Miss Widener, has entered Newton North at an unusual time, so Sam Melville set out to get to know more about her through the installment of Q&A with the Faculty. Hello and welcome to Q&A with the Faculty. I'm Sam and today we're going to be asking a few quick questions to a new math teacher here at North, all the way from California. Miss Widener, hello, thank you for being with us here today. No problem. Okay, so uh, let's get right into it. If you were any city in the world, which would you be? I would be Interlaken, Switzerland, um, because that is where I had my favorite chocolate that I've ever eaten. Which color are you? Today, I'm lavender. Tomorrow, I will probably be teal. You can only listen to one musician or band for the rest of your life. Who are you choosing? Taylor Swift. What is something you use every day that most people don't? Excessive amounts of graph paper. If you could star in any movie, which would it be? Star Wars. What color lightsaber would you have? Purple. <laughs> what is one skill that you wish you could master? So I've always wanted to um, do like woodworking. I have absolutely no woodworking skills whatsoever, but I'm curious to try it. If you weren't a teacher, what would you want to do for a living? Um, I would be a farmer. Um, I would have a sheep and a garden and trees. Where would your farm be? It would probably be in a little bit of Western Massachusetts. Any number between one and 10, which one are you choosing? Pi. Oh, that's a great answer. Uh, what's your favorite variable? That's a good question. I've never thought of that before. <gasps> Q. 
K. What's your favorite equation? E to the pi i plus one equals zero. Well, because it combines e, pi, i, one, and zero into one beautiful equation that is entirely unexpected. If we knew you better, what would we ask you? You would ask me to show you a painting that I have done. Can you show us a painting that you've done? <laughs> I'm not great at painting yet. I just started. Um, so I'll show you a cow that I did, but I'll have to send it to you an email because I don't have to. Great. That's so good. Yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. okay. And finally, describe your transition to North in one sentence. A bit confusing because I've only been to the building three times and I don't know where I work really. Ms. Widener, thank you so much for uh, coming with us today. Great answer to the questions. Uh, signing off for NNTV, I'm Sam Melville. Over the last few months at the high school, we have been getting used to remote learning, but other levels of education have been taking different approaches to learning. So I went down to Cabot Elementary School to see what elementary schools look like this year in Newton. Schools all across the country are discussing, researching, and carrying out plans to continue in-person school while also slowing the spread of COVID-19. Cabot Elementary School staff, students, and community are working together to create a safe learning environment all through the summer and the beginning of the school year. Principal Sprung believed in the importance of in-person opportunities for younger children. At the elementary level specifically, um, kids for the most part do their best learning when they're in person in front of teachers and so from a social emotional standpoint, uh, psychological standpoint, having kids in the building is certainly uh, beneficial. Other staff members like school aide Phoebe Bobola agreed with the significance of peer interactions. Like being able to be together I think is really important especially at this age. Like socialization is a big deal. The current schedule means that students are in the classroom four hours a day, two days a week, and at home for the rest of their classes. The faculty staff involved in the transition were worried about how difficult new health mandates like social distancing and hand washing would be for students. But they've transitioned better than anyone could have expected. So having that routine really keeps it going because they're like kids of routine. So yeah. they come to the classroom, they know they have to stay at their own desk. With they have to take the hand sanitizer before they can really sit down and before they can come out to the playground. So what, one of the things that we find is that that students are very resilient and they really will um, follow rules and expectations as long as they're clear and set out for them. After multiple months of safe, successful teaching, the Cabot community is excited about the opportunity to continue the new learning plan for the rest of the year. Uh, the, the kids being in school has been a successful experience and uh, uh, look forward to hopefully getting doing it for the entire year and if, and if possible doing even more. What started out as an uncertainty around the future in education is now a confidence in schools' abilities to teach under strange circumstances. Thank you to all of the faculty, staff, and community members for making the best of this difficult situation and providing the education that Newton students need. For NNTV, this is Alex Katz, signing off. Thanksgiving is this week, so Nora Fine asked Newton North faculty what the holiday usually looks like for them and what they're doing differently this strange year for the holiday season. With COVID, this year Thanksgiving is going to look a little different. With people not able to celebrate with their families, I want to see what people are going to do this year. So I asked a few teachers to see what their plans were for the holiday. Thanksgiving for me is usually uh, just me and my mother. Um, kind of a humble brag here, but I'm pretty good in the kitchen, so I always do the cooking um, and she comes over to, uh, to eat with me. Um, unfortunately, this year with COVID, um, I'm still going to do all the cooking, but I'm going to make her a meal to go um, and some leftovers to last her a few days, but uh, we will not be doing Thanksgiving together. Many people are coming up with very creative ideas to get together and also stay safe during the festivities. Uh, we will be doing um, the time together, but on Zoom, uh, in a safe uh, fashion, and that's kind of a bummer, but it'll still be nice to see everybody you know, and goof around a little bit, albeit on Zoom. Spending time with family in any way always makes for a good time. 
February. This year I'm with my with my wife and my two daughters, and um, so it's going to be a very small, intimate gathering. My favorite dish for Thanksgiving, I love cranberries. I love cranberry sauce made from scratch. Even though Thanksgiving may be small and cozy this year, I hope that everyone gets to enjoy their favorite dish surrounded by those that they love. I hope everyone has a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. This is Nora Fine from NNTV signing off. Thanks, Nora. Hopefully we can still have a fun Thanksgiving and get creative with showing thanks to our loved ones. At Newton North, our teachers work tirelessly to educate students and guide them toward success. This can come with challenges and they deserve recognition. We surprised a few teachers by inviting them to sit down and give thanks to a teacher who has left a lasting impression on them. Teachers. They make a huge difference in our lives, but rarely do we take the time to sit down and thank them. So, we put out a message to the Newton North community through Instagram, asking past and present students what teachers they wanted to thank. We then set up mock interviews with those teachers who thought they were answering what they were grateful for, but instead we surprised them with their students who told them why they were grateful for them. We actually have a student here to talk about why they are thankful for you. So, oh, yeah. wow. Oh, my goodness. This is a ah. big surprise. Ah, Hi, Miss Natalie. Oh, oh, my God. What a surprise. This is, this is a really a pleasant, a pleasant surprise. I was not expecting this. Oh, my gosh. My heart is overflowing right now. <laughs> Then it was time for the students to share what their teachers meant to them. Thank you for all the incredible work you put into teaching your students. Your class was one I never dreaded going to. The environment that we built in diverse perspectives and literature was so open and so friendly. I always knew someone would cheer me up walking in there. I was thinking back on high school and I was like, my favorite class was definitely 10th grade history. You respected when I needed to stop and when I needed to push through an anxiety attack, never questioning my understanding of myself and what I needed. You just like made me laugh and it was just such a fun class. You are someone who always encourages to aspire, to work harder, and to do greater things with the work inside and outside of the classroom. Even when classes came back digitally, one thing that never changed was the energy that our class had. When we filled our even shorter class time with reviews of Tiger King our first day back, I knew that same upbeat and optimistic energy we had in the building would remain. All the jokes were just funny and I will never forget the class. Your dedication to speaking your mind and advocating for others is inspiring. You always educated on issues that were relevant in our current time in history. I am incredibly grateful that I know someone as hardworking and caring for her student body as you are. Thank you, Ms. Manley. Thank you. Your former student, Alex Kolodny. Yeah, I take it you're not grateful that I made you do all the work. Uh, not at all. <laughs> writing and rewriting, <laughs> yeah. reading and taking notes. Yeah, that, maybe we can forget about that. <laughs> you're the best. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Being reminded of why I chose to do what I do every day and of the amazing, amazing people, especially my students who I have the privilege to be with is hard, hard for me to put into words, but it, it means the world. I'm really grateful. It's, it's real positive um, enforcement makes me feel good about doing what I do. It takes me a step back and makes me like remember why, I, you know, why I love this and, and how grateful I am for, um, for Karen and the students that come through and that I get to have these relationships with. Especially this year, I feel like it's like we're just in go, go, go mode and it's really nice to take a, take a breath and uh, and appreciate each other. Wow, I'm like really thrown off right now. This is, this is so wonderful. Not only was this impactful for the teachers, but it was for the students as well. It really means a lot because one of the things that like made me most upset about like ending my school year the way that like it had to be was that I didn't get to say goodbye to most of my teachers. So getting to do something like this, even if it's uh, like six months late, kind of helps like put that closure on everything and getting to like say thank you to the teachers who like really made a difference for me means a lot.
So, take the time today to reach out to a teacher or anyone you're grateful for, because especially now, we all need a bit of kindness in our lives. From NNTV, this is Emma Bradshaw signing off. What a great way to spread some Thanksgiving gratitude. That's all we have for today's show. If you have an announcement or story you'd like us to feature, DM us on Instagram at Newton North TV or fill out the form on our website at newtonnorthtv.com. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a happy Thanksgiving.